So the local trade copper has four money management parameters. So all the money management in the local trade copper, you can kind of control with these four parameters. And uh, you will see that mainly two of them are the most important, while the other two are not so important. But, um, but first, you know, we still have to look at them all in this presentation. So by default, local tree copper is set to calculate lot size automatically according to the size of the master and the client account. In this way, um, like in terms of percentage, you get the same risk on both accounts. So it means if you risk 1% of the on the master account, the client account will risk the same 1% even if the account, class, uh, account size and the client side is different, obviously, if that's possible. So even if you open, you know, no matter what, what lot size you open on the master account, and even if the, if the client account is bigger or smaller, the local trade copper will automatically adjust the lot size and will calculate like kind of the right lot size so that the same trade on the client side will uh, will kind of risk the same 1% as on the master account. Also, you will notice that I use uh, abbreviations in this tutorial like MMM, which stands for money management mode. So we'll get to this in a second. So in the screenshot, uh, you will see uh, those four main uh, money management parameters. So again, you will see that um, the first one is the MMM, which is money management mode. MMV, which is money management value. Those are the two most important ones. And then others are MMCM, which is money management calculation mode and money LMR value. So those two are kind of more advanced thing, but those first two are the most important. So the MMM is where you choose what formula, kind of what method should the client use to calculate the lot size when copying a trade on the client account. And uh, later you will find the list of available options in this MMM. Uh, but now let's, uh, let's look at the MMV. MMV is where you choose the value for the lot size calculation parameter. So MMV is the value for MMM, kind of. So, for example, if you choose to use a fixed lot size in the MMM settings, yeah, uh, then in the MMV is where you put the lot size you want to use. So, another example would be if you choose a lot multiplier in MMM, then as you know, MMV should should be the number you want to be uh, like act as a multiplier. So if you put two, then all the lot size will be multiplied by two. The MMCM is where you choose whether the client EA should use accounts balance or equity when calcul calculating lot size. By default, um, the calculation formula uses server account balance and the client account balance. But of course, we understand that you might want to you know, use some kind of different combinations like maybe equity from the master account and the equity from the client or maybe equity from master but balance from the client. So it has multiple options and, you know, everyone will find what they're looking for. But kind of default setting is the balance and balance, which is in kind of, I would say, 95 probably percent is what people use. The LMR value... Yeah, um, it kind of stands for a lot money ratio and we will explain this later in this presentation but this is kind of if client chooses this um, lot money ratio as their money management mode uh, then you will have to use the MMV and LMR value to set that well you will understand later about this Okay, so let's go to the next slide. So here are uh, like here is the list of all eight available money management modes that you can find in the local trade copier. So those are AA, AAM, 
same lot size as on the master account, multiply by X, fixed lot size, risk per trade and percentage, risk per trade and money, and LMR, like lot money ratio. So AA and AAM are the most common used like options. Uh, by default, the trade copy is set to use auto adjust to account size, which is AA.